it's time, it's time, time to rock, to rock, rock around. around. So uh, if anybody could uh, tell me what poem this is, I'm going to recite somebody. Uh, I'll give them a free book, a PDF. Uh, this is called How to Meditate. This makes it easier. Lights out. <laughs> Fall hands and claps into instantaneous ecstasy like a shot of heroin or morphine. The gland inside of my brain discharges the good, glad fluid, holy fluid, as I tap down and hold my body parts to a dead stop trance. Healing all of my sickness, erasing all, not even the shred of a I hope you, or a losing balloon left in it. But the mind's blank, serene, thoughtless. When a thought comes a springing, from afar with its held forth figure of image. You spoof it out, you spuff it out. You fake it and it fades. And thought never comes. And with joy you realize for the first time, thinking's just like not thinking. So I don't have to think anymore. That was Jack Kerouac. He wrote that in 1976. So this poem I, I wrote one day, uh, 1995, and I decided uh, last year to revise it. Uh, this poem is called 1 BC, The Birth of Jesus Christ, again. Many centuries ago, let us call it 1 BC, while I was just, you know, sitting alone, waiting for the main event to arrive, watching some TV. The Birth of Jesus Christ, <laughs> live and on via satellite. People all over the world gathered around, glued and waiting for it all to finally begin on TV. And Mother Mary, legs wide open for public viewing, wait for it, wait for it, and there, he squeezed out. Everyone stared, some criticized the moment, some cried out with joy, some broke out in tears, and some lashed out with rage and many did not care. And everyone, and everyone, and I do mean everyone, watched it live on via satellite. Some protested he be killed immediately. Others took him away into hiding. And no one heard a thing about him until around the age of 30. The media stormed to him like raging vultures would. And everyone watched on their royal drone tubes. And his ministry began while the cameras were there, 24 hours a day, healing the sick, walking on water, and never entering into the city. And the media asked, why would he never enter the city? And as the world watched and waited for his answer, he replied, I would condemn them. And the people thought, a terrorist? And the authorities arrested him. And the liberals all raged. Pin him up on the cross like the scum he is. And others raged. Shoot him dead. Rip him apart limb from limb. And others raged. He is a savior. Let him go. And he replied to everyone. Let me be for I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I am meant to die for all his sins. And the authorities nailed his hands painfully to the cross. And they lashed him to move forward up and up to the town hilltop. And all the media coverage you ever wanted was on every channel. And everyone watched. And everyone posted Twitter commentary. And everyone posted Facebook and MySpace opinions. And he who was born, his only begotten son, forgave everyone. As he walked to the top of the mountain. And he was followed by helicopters and cameramen and reporters who loved the coverage and bled there, slowly dying under a heated sun, with only a pair of dirty briefs and nothing else. And his body died and his soul free. And people cheered and people partied in the streets and people got drunk and made love. 
and some mourned, and some cried, and some couldn't understand why. Your God, who gave birth to a child on 1 BC. Thank you. Michael, you still on everybody.